what we're going to talk about here is how do I get the information started? How do I get going with this? If I have, for example, my own workspace, or maybe I'm using another agency's workspace and I want to uh, begin to play around with this, what are the steps involved? You know, Dan has talked about some of the different requirements like dimension styles and text styles and text favorites and even element templates. And so do we deliver something that will get us started? And the answer to that, of course, is yes. We deliver both a metric and an imperial example version of a couple of different files. And then we're going to take a look at uh, the configuration variable or variables that we need to examine in our current environment. So the first thing we want to talk about is we want to copy over the delivered files from our examples workspace. Then we'll talk about the configuration variable. I saw some questions in the chat about the civil label or XML file. And then lastly, we'll talk about verifying some of our basic microstation configuration variables that they pick up the DGN lib that we're going to copy over. Okay, so the delivered uh, civil label or XML file, it, it contains our pre-built labels that Dan was demonstrating earlier. And so it's a great idea to use this as a starting point versus, you know, creating one uh, from scratch. We always recommend, you know, taking this and building on it, uh, customizing at will, but uh, it's really much easier than starting from the beginning. And so what we want to do is we want to copy over the delivered XML file and I give an example location here for the Imperial is in under your program data folder structure. And I've highlighted the file name there in a different color, color green for you so that you'll know what file it is you want to copy. And you want to go ahead and grab this file and copy that and put that into your workspace if your workspace does not have the civil labeler set up at this time. The deliver DGN library file that supplements this civil labeler XML file. And the XML file essentially contains all of the settings and the pointers uh, for your label. So it points to your text favorite, it points to the element template, the text styles, et cetera, uh, that you want to use. And so we also have this DGN lib that actually contains those resources. And so Dan actually uh, created this DGN library is along with the XML file uh, that we deliver in our examples workspace. And he purposely made it simple uh, for you to transfer this to another workspace where the element templates, the text styles, the text favorites, and the dimension styles are all in a single DGN library. So that's the other file or the second file that we would copy over to our workspace. Our delivered DGN library file uh, for Imperial, I've given you that location. Metric would be similar, but the metric folder structure. And the file name that you want to copy is the labeler text favorites, uh, dimension styles, element templates, imperial.dgn lib. And so this is the second file and one of the two files that you want to copy over. So your XML file, which has all of the labeler settings, and then you want to copy over the DGN library, which has all of your base microstation entities that are required. So you want to copy this over to your workspace as well. We do have a new configuration variable, and I saw this question posted as well, that needs to be set that points to our civil labeler imperial or metric XML file. And so I have shown the configuration variable that is required, and your path would obviously differ perhaps. I put it in a subfolder, for example, called labeler. You don't have to do that, uh, just an idea. But you will set this configuration variable to point to the full path and the file name of the XML file that contains your labeler data. And so you want to make sure that you get this set properly in your workspace. And that way, when you open the tool, it will know what XML file that is to open. And if this is not set, you're going to see a message stating as such. The examples workspace DG and library, as mentioned earlier, contains four entities that are utilized by civil labeler. And Dan already touched on these a little bit in terms of you know where information is pulled from. Uh, the configuration variable should include this additional file, and it's a DG and library that we deliver. And so we're going to verify that that file name of that DGN lib that you copied over coincides with your configuration variable assignments. And so you'll see the four key configuration variables here of the 
different versions of the MSDG and Live List. So you have your element templates, your text styles, your text favorites, and your dimension styles. The main thing that you want to check, of course, is that your paths are correct. But when you drop this DGN library into your workspace, you need to make sure that you're, if you're using wildcards to specify these file names, that uh, the wildcards will line up with the name of the file that you have copied over into your workspace. And so that's the point of this slide, is making sure that those all uh, line up appropriately. And I believe uh, with that, that concludes what it takes to utilize what is in our examples workspace and place that into yours. Just to, as a refresher, you have your XML file that contains all of the labeled data, and then you have your DGN library that contains these four primary microstation entities that are used uh, within that XML data file. And then you'll have your new uh, civil labeler XML file configuration variable to set. Once these are in place, you will then be able to open the civil labeler and utilize what we have set up in the examples workspace. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.